Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how to work with callouts in uh, UiPath uh, in the upcoming version, so 23.4. To showcase the callout functionality, I have um, built an automation that will do the same things. Uh, given a specific uh, application, in my case, I'm using this, this uh, demo application, um, we want to make sure that uh, uh, the user that utilizes this application doesn't enter invalid data in these two fields. And what invalid means, it means that, uh, for example, the caching fields, let's say it cannot be bigger than $200. So if I put it something like 2000, it needs to uh, give me some kind of a warning or an error message. And uh, uh, the on US check cannot be bigger than $300, right? Right now, this application doesn't have any validation built in. So if I, I can put in any, any values, I can click the accept button and those will be accepted. Uh, we also want to make sure that the accept button, when you click on it, it doesn't get through unless these values are, are valid, as we said. So 200, respectively, $300. So uh, first I'm going to run the application, uh, the automation, sorry, just to show you how it works. And then we're gonna look at how it was built, okay? Um, so now the uh, automation is starting, okay. Uh, you can see it here, it's uh, it's running. So I have, you know, my, my business application, as I said before, um, thing is if I type in here something like $20, you will see that nothing happens, right? It, it's just like, just like before, but let's take this uh, cash in field and let's write something like $400, right? As I, um, when I, when this field loses focus, so as I change to the next field, you can see that it, we now have a, a message, a call out that says that the cash in value cannot be bigger than $200, right? And now if I come in and I fix it, um, you will see that that call out will go away and it's all good now. Same thing for this one. If I type in 400, it says that it cannot be bigger than $300. Again, and I can come in and, uh, and, uh, and fix it, let's say it's $100, and now I can hit the accept button, okay? Um, if I type in something uh, like, uh, you know, something, um, a number that is not okay, right? If I hit the accept button, you'll see that actually nothing happens. The, the form doesn't get submitted, so the value doesn't reset to nothing. Instead, I am, I am shown the, the error. Same thing here, right? So if I if I type something on a US check, uh, it says that it has to be bigger than 300. I click the accept button, and now actually it will show me the error for the first field that that uh, is uh, uh, throwing such an error. So now that you've seen uh, how it functions, so again, entering a value that's bigger than 300 is going to uh, 200 here is going to show. Um, call out I'm saying that this one is going to show the other call out and hitting the accept button will not work until I comply to the um, to the uh, actual values right there you go and I hit the accept button now you can see that it changed uh, proof to that is that the transaction number now it ends in 59 I hit accept is gonna end in uh, I hit accept is gonna end in six zero good. Let's go back into studio and see how this was built. Uh, first of all, the main file, you know, is nothing but one activity run local triggers. This is going to instantiate the uh, mechanism to start listening to various triggers that we have defined. I have three triggers defined here, on accept clicked, on cache in changed, and uh, on uh, US uh, check changed, okay? Let's look at them one by one. First of all, cache in changed so on the value of that particular field, cache in, uh, the event type is focus lost. So when, when this field loses focus, this is when this XAML gets triggered, right? And when this happens, we're gonna invoke this validate.xaml file. And uh, if we look at the input arguments for this XAML, the element that we're looking at is the target event args, which is a local argument, uh, dot target element, meaning what is the element that triggered this particular XAML? Um, the one that uh, lost focus is going to be in our case. The name of the, of the element is cash in and the minimum value is, is, uh, is 200, right? On US check change, it's very similar. You know, we're actually listening to a different UI element now, same event, focus lost, input arguments, um, obviously now are slightly different, the same, 
you know, element as a parameter, this time is going to be different because we're, well, we're monitoring a different element. The name is on US check and the minimum value is 300. Uh, let's look at the validate XAML file now. What it does is pretty simple. It gets the text of our element. It tries to convert it into a double. Um, and uh, then if the value is bigger than, actually here's a bug. It needs to be mean value. If the value is bigger than mean value, then what we do is that we want to show that callout. Okay, so we have a new set of activities that come with the callout package. Uh, one of them is callout, show callout activity. Uh, they actually work on top of forms. So in the dropdown, you're going to see various uh, forms that you have created. I have here the callout.ui form. Uh, form that is just a basic um, form with just one field, which is the label. Okay, so you can go here, edit it. Uh, yeah, it's a label, the field key is text. Okay, and the default value is loading so that it shows nicely. So we're gonna display this callout and a callout, what you should know is that it's linked to a specific UI element. And we're gonna see um, you know, in a second what that means, right? And so we're showing this call out and we also have some arguments for showing the call out, which is the text, the value of that label, right? And in our case, the value of the label is going to be element name cannot be bigger than dollar and then the minimum value that we've passed, 200 or $300 based on, um, based on what we're trying to do. And we also return true or false, right? And this we're gonna see in the click, uh, click accept why we do that in a second. The other thing we have here is that if everything is fine, then we close the form and then we assign valid to true. So yes, this field is valid. And also before showing the form, showing the callout, we choose to close form. So we close the callout and then we show it uh, so that it refreshes the value of the text field. Otherwise it doesn't uh, refresh. Uh, the validate uh, that XAML file, um, what we do here is uh, not validate, sorry accept clicked. So when the user clicks the accept button, um, we have a trigger. Uh, the trigger in this case is a click event trigger. So when you click on the accept button, right, with the left mouse button, um, what we want to do is block the event, meaning that the click is not going to go through, at least not initially. And we're also including the children of that uh, UI element, the, the, the button itself, because the button has a label that just says accepts. And if you click on that label, if you don't check this box, clicking on that label is not going to trigger this XAML. And when you click this, uh, basically we find the caching, uh, caching uh, UI element, we validate it here, right? And if it's valid, then we move to the next element on US check, we validate it again. If both of them are valid, then what we do is we replay the user event. So that's another activity. You remember up there, we, we blocked the user event. So we, the user clicks, nothing happens. We actually run these validations. And if everything is okay, if everything is valid, then we replay the user event that is gonna make sure that the click goes through. It actually you know, replays the, the, the click to that particular UI element. And really that's it, right? It's, it's as simple as that. So we have our, our, our call out here and uh, it, it, just, uh, it just displays next to that. You remember the show, show call out activity uh, gets a UI element as an input. Uh, that's the UI element that it attaches to, right? And right now, let's say I put in here 300 as a value. Um, you will see, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the call out, right? Uh, cache in cannot be bigger than 200. One thing that you'll notice is that as I move this application around, that call out actually moves around as well. It's a different window from the, from the main application window. If I minimize it, it goes away. Sorry, if I, if I minimize it, it goes away. If I restore it, um, it, it will be uh, shown again, right? Yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, show call out uh, an activity that you can use. Uh, it is uh, being, being built on top of the form activities. So you need a form that is gonna be shown in a call out. It, it can be an HTML form. It can be a, uh, uh, you know, regular, uh, 
form and um, it has all the capabilities that a form has. So you can do triggers within, you know, inside the, the, the call out, it can have buttons, it can have call close buttons and so on. Uh, you can even implement things like automatically uh, close this call out after, you know, three seconds after it's been displayed. And with that, thank you. Thank you so much.